Exciting news for doctors out there. Google just introduced an amazing chatbot called Amy. This chatbot is a game changer, as it can talk to patients about their health issues and diagnose them almost like a real human doctor, wondering what the buzz is all about and why it's making waves in the healthcare industry. Stick around and we'll dive into the details. Oh, and don't forget to show some love by liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel. We're dedicated to keeping you updated on the coolest AI advancements. Now let's jump right into the good stuff. Talking between doctors and patients is super important for figuring out what's wrong and how to fix it. Google thinks that if AI systems can have these kinds of conversations too, it could really help make healthcare better. These smart systems could make it easier for people to get the care they need, improve how good the care is, and make sure everyone gets the same level of help. They could become like helpful buddies for both doctors and patients, making conversations about health a lot smoother and more effective. There's a major challenge here, making sure AI can match the quality of communication that real human healthcare workers provide. But there's some hope on the horizon, according to experts. The big question is, how good can AI really be at this? We've seen some impressive progress with large language models in other areas, where they can think ahead, figure things out, and understand what's going on. But let's not forget, healthcare is special. It involves delicate and unique aspects that make conversations about diagnosis really tricky. Good doctors know how to gather all the important details about a patient's health, ask smart questions to figure out what might be wrong, and build a good relationship with their patients. Meanwhile, large language models, LLMs, are great at summarizing medical information and answering questions, but they haven't really focused on having in-depth conversations about diagnosis. Google stepped up to tackle this challenge by creating Articulate Medical Intelligence Explorer, or AMI for short. AMI is an AI system specially made to think through medical problems and have meaningful talks with patients about their health concerns. They put AMI through rigorous training and evaluation, using lots of different measures that matter in actual doctor-patient talks. They looked at things from both the doctor's and the patient's points of view. The goal? To make sure Amy can handle all sorts of medical situations and conditions effectively. At the heart of their approach, they created a special simulated conversation setup where Amy can learn and get better through automatic feedback. This way, it keeps improving its skills over time. In addition, they brought in a clever tactic called Inference Time Chain of Reasoning to boost both diagnostic precision and conversation flow. To ensure real-world readiness, the team went further by testing Amy in actual multi-step conversations, mimicking consultations with well-prepared staff. Google emphasizes the importance of thoroughly evaluating Amy's performance and precision. To achieve this, they rely on methods and tools akin to those used by human doctors to gauge consultation effectiveness and clinical communication prowess. They built a kind of early evaluation tool to judge how well Amy performs in diagnostic conversations. It considers things like gathering patient history, making accurate diagnoses, managing clinical aspects, communication skills, building relationships, and showing empathy. This tool gave them a visual way to understand the data they gathered. Next, they set up a study where both the people giving and receiving text-based consultations didn't know if they were interacting with Amy or a human. This helps keep the assessment fair and unbiased. In these consultations, trained patient actors engaged with either board-certified primary care doctors or the AI system specially designed for diagnostic conversations. The setup was akin to an Objective Structured Clinical Examination OSCE a widely used method in real-world assessments to objectively evaluate clinicians' abilities in a standardized manner. In this setup, clinicians moved through various stations, each representing a different real-world clinical situation. The consultations took place using a synchronous text chat tool, much like the interface commonly used by people interacting with large language models, LLMs, nowadays. With promising outcomes, Google proudly states on its official page that they have trained Amy using real-world datasets. Here's the thing, teaching language models to handle medical conversations using real-life dialogues from face-to-face -face clinical visits comes with two major hurdles. First off, the available data might not cover a broad spectrum of medical situations and scenarios, which makes it less effective. Secondly, the transcripts of real-world dialogues often contain messy bits like unclear language, interruptions, and sentences that aren't grammatically correct. Google was well aware of these challenges, prompting them to create a simulated learning environment equipped with automated feedback mechanisms tailored for diagnostic medical conversations in a virtual care setting. This environment enables the company to enrich AMI's knowledge and skills across diverse medical conditions and contexts. The company also utilized this environment to continuously improve AMI by combining simulated dialogues with real-world data. This fine-tuning process involved two self-play loops. The first, known as the inner self loop, saw Amy refining its skills through simulated conversations with an AI patient simulator. The second loop, or the outer loop, incorporated the refined simulated dialogues into subsequent fine-tuning iterations. The outcomes from the outer loop could then feed back into the inner loop, creating an ongoing cycle of refinement. 
The inference time chain of reasoning strategy we discussed earlier allowed Amy to continuously enhance its responses, resulting in more suitable replies. Google, on Amy's webpage, claims to have conducted a study comparing the performance of consultations with simulated patients to those conducted by 20 real primary care physicians. All of these processes were carried out using the randomized method we just discussed. Fundamentally, the study was a randomized, blinded crossover study incorporating 149 case scenarios sourced from Objective Structured Clinical Examination OSCE, providers in Canada, the UK, and India, covering a wide range of specialties and diseases. Now here's the key point. This could also be seen as a disclaimer from the company. They explicitly state on their page that their study was not meant to replicate traditional in-person OSCE evaluations or the usual methods clinicians employ, such as text, email, chat, or telemedicine. Rather, the experiment aimed to simulate how most consumers currently interact with AI systems for remote diagnostic dialogue, which could potentially become scalable and familiar in the future. Now, let's delve into the results that Google claims to have obtained. Following all the experimentation, the company observed that Amy performed simulated diagnostic conversations as effectively as primary care physicians, PCPs, when assessed across various crucial consultation quality metrics. According to their findings, Amy exhibited higher diagnostic accuracy and superior performance on 28 out of 32 criteria from the perspective of specialist physicians and 24 out of 26 criteria from the perspective of patient doctors. These claimed results certainly seem promising. However, the big question remains, will they stand up in real life situations? This is a question that remains to be answered. Google, however, didn't hesitate to acknowledge some limitations that surfaced after this testing phase. They openly admit that their evaluation method likely underestimates the true value of human conversations in real-world settings, as the clinicians in their study were constrained to an unfamiliar text chat interface. While this interface allows for extensive interactions between LLMs and patients, it doesn't reflect typical clinical practices. The second point indeed seems to settle much of the debate surrounding the replacement of human health professionals. Google emphasizes that any research of this kind should be seen as just the beginning of a long journey. They stress that transitioning from the research prototype of large language models, LLMs, evaluated in this study to a safe and reliable tool for individuals and healthcare providers will require extensive additional research. These comprehensive research efforts would entail testing performance under real-world conditions and exploring important issues like health equity, fairness, privacy, and reliability to ensure the technology's safety and effectiveness. According to Google, as outlined in their recently released preprint, they evaluated an earlier version of the AMI system's capability to independently generate a differential diagnosis, DDX, or act as a support tool for clinicians. For those unfamiliar, DDX stands for differential diagnosis. Here's how the proceedings went. 20 generalist clinicians assessed 303 challenging real-world medical cases sourced from the New England Journal of Medicine Clinical Pathologic Conferences. Each case report was examined by two clinicians randomly assigned to one of two assisted conditions, either aid from search engines and standard medical resources or assistance from Amy. Before using the respective assistive tools, all clinicians provided a baseline unassisted DDX. Following this, Amy showcased standalone performance that outpaced that of unassisted clinicians. While the numbers may not be astounding, they do show promise. Amy achieved a top 10 accuracy of 59.1% compared to 33.6% in the two assisted study arms, indicating that clinicians assisted by Amy had higher top 10 accuracy rates compared to clinicians without Amy's assistance. The differential percentage stood at 24.6%. Additionally, clinicians with search engines only achieved a score of 5.45%. Another noteworthy observation was that clinicians assisted by Amy generated more comprehensive lists of potential diagnoses compared to those without Amy's assistance. To wrap up this discussion, it's clear that a chatbot like Amy has the potential to be truly life-saving and effective in various situations. It can provide immediate medical assistance by offering timely guidance and first aid recommendations during emergencies, such as heart attacks, strokes, or severe allergic reactions. In remote or underserved areas with limited access to healthcare facilities, the chatbot can offer valuable medical advice and support. Moreover, it plays a critical role in mental health support, providing immediate resources for individuals in crisis, including those experiencing suicidal ideation or severe anxiety. For individuals managing chronic conditions, the chatbot can offer support by providing personalized reminders for medication, offering lifestyle guidance, and aiding in symptom monitoring. However, Perhaps its most crucial role lies in raising awareness. If implemented effectively, Amy can significantly contribute to health education by disseminating accurate and timely information on public health issues, preventive care, and disease management to a wide audience. Nevertheless, it's important to note that Amy is far from being equipped to threaten the medical profession, neither now nor in the foreseeable future. With that, we conclude today's discussion. Remember to subscribe for the latest updates from the world of AI.